weakness and fear. If we walk humbly, if we are friendly, if we walk in the manner that God wants us to, people will see it. And I don't know if it's happened to you. Uh, many times, strangers have asked me, are you a Christian? Not because I, I was sharing the gospel, not because I was reading the Bible, but just because of demeanor, just from, because of the way uh, I'm talking to people. And what an opportunity to open the conversation and share the gospel. So now I'll get into letting the light shine, but just, just our daily walk. Uh, Philippians 2, 14, 15, do all things without murmurings and disputings, that you may be blameless and harmless. The sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. Again, walking softly. Um, uh, just a short story. Uh, years ago, my former church, we had a gentleman who was highly respected, and uh, I was teamed up for him on a Saturday to go door knocking. And as we were walking through a park, um, there was a lady with her about 10 year old son sitting at a table. And this man I was with just went off on her. He starts yelling at her, do you go to church? We're out sharing the gospel. The first thing out of his mouth was loudly and, and not very nice, do you go to church? And she said, no, I don't. He starts yelling at her. So, why not? Don't you understand that this is important and important for your son? And through yelling at her, she kind of stammers out, I'm Catholic. And then he launched into, that's a cult, and, and you're going to go to hell. And this, I was able to get him to move on, and I apologized as best I could to this lady. But that closed the door on anyone ever being able to share the gospel with that lady. A uh, preacher, a long time ago when I first started soul winning, said, if you can't help them come to Christ, leave them so that somebody else can. Be friendly, be meek. Be kind and um, we need to show the Holy Spirit that's within us by our actions. We don't convict others, God does. Mm -hmm. And uh, Romans 12, 19, 20, dear, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For if written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt keep coals of fire on its head. I love that verse. If someone is not being very nice to you, be as nice as you can to them. Because uh, that is just going to burn within them. That someday they're going to realize, wow, I was not being a very nice person. And maybe I need to change my ways. So let that always be your guiding principle. And if you could please turn to Psalms. Uh, 40.10, please. Psalms 40.10. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to say, I love this verse, I love, I love them all, but <laughs> there's some that just, that just reach out. Uh, Psalms 40.10, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great conversation. Con excuse me, congregation. You have salvation. Don't keep it to yourself. We've received a gift that we don't deserve, that we didn't earn, that in no way we could ever buy. Shout it. Why? Let people see it. Let people hear it. Ecclesiastes 8.1 Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Your countenance, your face, should show your joy, peace, and contentment with life. The spirits within you, let him cause you to shine. Let him bring you peace. Let him help you to lift others up. In Matthew 5, uh, 14 through 16, you are the light of the world. A city, is set on, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 5, you are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. 
don't hide your light. Let everyone share it. Go out into the world and let everyone see it. Let them ask you questions. Give them the gospel and glorify our Father. Rejoice in the light that's given to us. There need be no darkness in the saved person. Remember, fear hides in the darkness. And fear is not of the Lord. Romans uh, 1.16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. If you would like to, to please turn to Philippians 1.20. <clears throat> Again, another, how many verses are there in the Bible? I know there's 66 books. How many verses are there? I have to figure that out. Since I love them. Philippians 1.20, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but, in, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. There can be a lot of fear of criticism or embarrassment, just letting people know that you're a Christian. Uh, there can be a lot of fear in presenting the gospel to someone. But if you're saved, you have everything you need to be effective in helping someone come to Christ. And not the least of which is the leading and protection of the Holy Spirit. So I, I have been out with a lot of people and I understand that fear, I've experienced it myself. But that fear is not from the Lord. And if you just lean heavily on the Holy Spirit, He will get you through. Mm -hmm. Romans 10, 11, For the Scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on Him shall not be ashamed. There is great joy in sharing the Gospel. Even greater will we see someone, that, someone come to Christ. Um, the Bible uses the word ashamed. I tend to substitute fear in there. Because that's more of what we experience when we're meeting someone or trying to let someone know for the first time that we're a Christian. We don't know how they're going to react. We don't know how they're going to uh, speak to others about us. So, um, so that that fear is a, is a is a terrible thing. But if we consider the full weight of what Jesus bore for us, how can we not share that? Um, you know the account of his prayer in the garden at Gethsemane, Matthew 26, 39? And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. He came willingly to die. He went to the cross willingly. But he knew what was to come, and he sweat great drops like blood over what he was about to endure willingly. He was convicted. He was tortured. His flesh was ripped from his body. The hair ripped from his beard and his head. He was unrecognizable as a man by the time he reached the cross. He was nailed and he was lifted up. The crowd hissing and swearing at him. These were people that just just before had rejoiced at his entering into the city. There were many there that had been healed by him. He had been fed by him. And here they were, just reviling him as he hung on the cross. And then from about noon to about three in the afternoon, there was total darkness over the entire earth. All of the sins of man, past, present, and the future ones to come, including us, were placed on him by the Father. Mm -hmm. His cup of wrath was poured out on his son at that time. All the anger all the frustrations, all of the hurt that God has experienced for every single sin that every single man had ever committed or ever will commit was placed on his sin. And even God himself could not look on the suffering of his son during that time. The cup of wrath was poured out on his son. We talk about the torture, the, the, the whipping, the crown of thorns, but to me this was the one the torture, was taking that sin. On himself. His last words. Where it is finished. This is a gift we received. How could we possibly not tell everyone that we can? So my three points were embrace the wisdom, walk softly and humble. 
Let the light shine so that everyone can see. And never be ashamed of what Jesus did for you or fearful to share it. Remember, fear does not come from the Lord. Tell everyone you can. Remember, the fear of rebuke does not come from All right. Thank you so much, and uh, I was blessed. Yes. <laughs> like, you know, I hope you invest too. You really listen carefully. You know, uh, from the person that he opened his mouth. Like, you know, I listen carefully. Like, you know, it's like I was like, God is telling me something. I know about you, but uh, hopefully that uh, whatever I have, whatever I understand, is you get it too. As we, as a man of the church, uh, I mean, like we keep shining. We're still doing our our our, our duty not only in our family, but also to the work of the Lord, because this is not just, this is not the end of life. I mean, like, this is not the end of it. We have a place called eternity. This is a place that God wants to be. That's why God saved us. Especially the whole portion to us, that we, we should be the light. And to the death of Jesus Christ, He showed to us um, what God did for us from the past after the future. And it did end through the middle. But after this moment of time, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is still fresh. The salvation is still there. It never ends. If you watch the news or any of that, you know, there are a lot of conflicts and a lot of that they understand this, he's saying this left and right. But for us, whatever that is, whatever we believe in, we know the only hope is in God. And we need to walk with that. We need to walk on the truth. We need to just continue what God has given through us, what God uh, uh, put in our hearts and through this uh, is that just like I said that just like I said before uh, uh, we preach or we walk what we said we, we we just do whatever things that that what we said we don't just say it you know um, it'd be an example to us it'd be like a, a, a testimony for us because we know the Bible is what it's like we are convicted uh, we are convicted we, we, we know we, when we open the scripture we are convicted on the things, or we are convinced to the Holy Spirit, because again, the Bible is the mirror. This is the way we see our life. This is the way that you know what God telling us. It tells us that we need to grow, and He tells us to just to continue what is the plan and and the and the plan of the work of, of the Lord for us. So. Again, thank you so much. I don't know about our colleague, you want to save this or you want to continue next weekend? It's been like, for me, it's already... It's a hard act to follow. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. I'm I could save it, it's fine. Yeah, because uh, Barakalas is something. But it's, it's okay, we can save it forever. But I mean, like, I don't know, if you're still thirsty. And, yes, always. You know, <laughs> always. You're still thirsty, right? So, always. I mean, like, next month, next month, Lord Filling. Uh, very color, you can put more flavor on that. <laughs> so, Please so, don't let, don't let, don't let <laughs> yeah, so, uh, again, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, it, it's nice to hear, you know, uh, especially in the morning, hearing the word of God. Yeah. And, uh, I hope through us we try our best, uh, when we just want to speak through a day or just thank the Lord and what I think is good for us. And again, brother, thank you so much. And uh, maybe next month, again, Lord, we we'll do the church. You want to do that next month? So we do. Our, we use our church there on Cyber Saturday. Uh, if there's any plans, so you know, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just, just announce it. We'll just announce it. We'll do that. And uh, again, let's let's, uh, let's let's do our best. Let's try. Let's do our best uh, to be continue doing this. Again. We should be, again, as I close, we should be uh, not hiding, but we should be come out. You know? We should be a show, and it is what God wants to be, as of being a, a children of God. And then, again, thank you for the, this home. Thank you for having Mindy, Spiagami, and the whole plan. I said, the breakfast we have. You can eat whatever you want to eat there. You can eat their house if you want. So, <laughs> like, enjoy the fellowship together. And once again, thank you. And uh, is there anything that I miss? Pastor. The pastor, we missed him. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, again, uh, thank you. And um, I should ask the. Uh, come on. Uh, Brother Angel, to close the prayer. Let's pray. Uh, Father God, once again, Lord, thank you so much for this. Uh, 
day that you were able to bring us together, Paul Lord, and to listen to your uh, uh, beautiful teaching about uh, about we can live our life, how about uh, about to become a good example, Paul Lord, uh, to become a light and salt of this world, Paul Lord, and to be to be to do your will and to share your words with others, Paul Lord. We know that it's not that it's not easy, but we know that everything is possible through you, Lord, and uh, give us the right, the right mind and the right decision for, for our lives, and continue to give us discernment to find the right and wrong for Lord. Please uh, guide us and protect us through the day and our family, and we also pray Paul, for those people who are suffering because of uh, the things that's going on in this world, pandemic and and all kinds of disaster, oh Lord. You may provide for the people, and we pray for our brothers and sisters in you, that you provide for their family, their children, and to them, oh Lord. Um, thank you for everything. Thank you for your grace and mercy and your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, and uh, God bless you all,